So I intended to make this video talking about my education, talking about my experience graduating with the whole pandemic going on, but I think this video subject should be devoted to something a little bit bigger. I think focusing on the general subject of the importance of an education, especially in a time like this. Inequality concerning police violence against African Americans has been an issue that the United States has been dealing with ever since its inception. The atrocities that were slavery in the 18th and 19th century of America were never really abolished. In fact, they just kind of evolved. The inequality, this constant battle between those who were perpetuating absolute bigotry and racism and those who were fighting against it. And to this day, you have that conflict even still permeating our culture. The death of George Floyd was absolutely horrendous. It was a terrifying example of this long-standing conflict that we still haven't addressed at its roots. Unfortunately, I think that for most people, the information that they're seeing about this and the first things that they're reading are the things that they're taking in and taking it to heart. And something I wanted to bring to light in this video was the importance of being an educated individual in a time where the government's gonna try to tell you what to think, other people are gonna try to tell you what to think, social media is gonna try to tell you what to think, and with all of these different influences, it's important to stay rational and to be an informed individual. I'm gonna kind of explain how I became sort of on a very individualized level. So how I was able to think for myself, be able to discern information, be able to figure out what information was faulty and what information was reliable and where it was coming from, how my formal education had to do with that and how you really don't need a formal education anymore in order to be able to get that for yourself. And I'm gonna explain how. It might sound weird, but through going through the inst educational institutions, I realized that those who are not able to afford the opportunity or pursue the opportunity of a formal education are now, in 2020, more than ever, just as equipped to be able to do it for themselves. All they need is a little bit of guidance. All they need is the correct information. And hopefully this video guides people in finding an education for yourself or finding some resources for yourself that are beneficial in aiding your individual growth and your individual consciousness. My college journey was pretty unorthodox, but at the same time, it was super beneficial to do it the way I did. So I started out in community college and I went to three different community colleges. I went to College of San Mateo across the bay from where I live. And after a semester there, I realized it'd be a lot more convenient for me to be closer to home. So I started going to Chabot College in my hometown of Hayward, California. And uh, after a little bit of time there, I ended up going to Las Positas College in Livermore in order to finish up and get the classes that I need to transfer to a university. And I learned different things from each school and I learned different I had different experiences at each one that all guided me on a certain path. And what ended up happening is I finished up my classes at Las Positas. I got really well versed in English and I started taking some classes in, in media and I, was, I really enjoyed it. So I knew I wanted to do that for a minor. I ended up going to San Jose State for two years, getting an English degree and then a minor in radio, TV and film. And I felt like that was such a well-rounded education for what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to pursue. Most of all, it gave me the ability to come and determine you know, what I really believed in and what I wanted to stand up for. Having that ability to individually think is so important for everybody now in this very turbulent time and going forward. If I had to narrow it down to a few things, I would say that first of all, you have to be able to discern what information is true and what information is false. Surface level information that you find on social media, like people talking on posts in Facebook, or on Twitter can often lead you down rabbit holes and they're often not reliable. Certain threads and certain things are, are you know, fact checked or maybe they have sources, but you, you can't take people's text at face value. And I've, I've thought about this a lot. And I mean, we're inherently human and humans have only had scribes and such around for a certain amount, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of years in our hundreds of thousands of years of existence. So we see text online, it still sets off some receptors that it holds some importance. Somebody took the time to post it so it must hold some significance. And we have to get that out of your head because there's such an abundance of information online now that you have to really know how to dig through it and find what's true, what's reliable. 
you know, I try to stick to things that are outside of a media bias, or at least to highlight the media bias, so you can kind of get a full scope of information. Certain sorts of information websites that, that have raw info, which can be misleading, but at the same time, can also be really helpful for finding video or stuff that's not doctored or, or censored by media for whatever reason. I'll put links of all the websites I use below and at least a few of them that I've been introduced to that have a lot of reliable information, especially during this time where it's super necessary to have all of that and to have uh, an unskewed view. Because in the world of posts and sound bites and video clips, it's very easy to have the truth misconstrued in a moment in order to make that moment seem like the whole truth when the whole truth lies be you know, below that post and there's more to it, you have to dig down and you know, beyond that post into other information in order to correlate. And that's where things get really confusing because people aren't willing to spend that time and effort to uncover that truthful information. But if you're willing to, and you're willing to put in the time to practice how to do so, you will be better off as an individual and you'll be better off discerning what's true, what's false, and how to think for yourself and how to determine what you need to do and what you know you feel is right. If anybody is going to any protests, I hope you're safe and uh, definitely be careful because we're still in a pandemic as we know. But hopefully as we get into the next half of 2020, things start to look up. I hope everybody stays safe and well. Have a good week.